ride, 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 ride here. Looking for a water pump, water pump rebuild kit. Beggars can't be choosers. We'll take what we can get because we have a broken water maker. And they're supposed to be one of the only shipwrecks, I think, in French Polynesia. Not known to have very many shipwrecks that you can dive, probably because everything happened on the outside and it's insanely deep down there. So this one's on the inside of the lagoon. It's supposed to be rad. And then I don't know what else. Is Maybe a river. Maybe a river. Maybe a river excursion. Maybe some snorkeling. Maybe some land. I have no idea. Whatever they have, that's what we're going to do. Woo! He's hot. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, yeah, so it's a deep dive and... Or it's slack tide. Yeah. High tide. Anyway, that's the scoop. <laughs> Yummy. Nice. dark and murky, the perfect way to start any shipwreck scene. Cue a few sharks and you might actually see me sweat underwater. So this is the Nordby. It's eerie, but I suppose that's fitting for a 160 foot sailboat that's been sitting at the bottom of the sea for over 100 years. It was in August of 1900, the Nordby was returning home from New Caledonia. She was passing through the Society Islands when a storm roared up and grounded her on a sandbank here in Raiatea. They didn't have predict wind and Garmin back in those days.
nothing great, but it made it kind of extra creepy. There's always something to see. Always good to do a dive. Time to go see about that water pump. See if we can get our water maker working again. Fastest shower cleanup snack. Yeah, most dive cleanup we've probably ever done. We're going right there. And they close in like a half an hour. like a, a cheap little Jabsco pump 12 volt that would not work because it doesn't have enough pressure. Um, that's the only one they had. She said they might have it in Papayete, so maybe we'll beeline it for Tahiti and see. Well, we can't beeline it. We gotta wait for weather, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. So there's one more spot here she's gonna pop into. Same thing. Same thing? Yeah. I need three, I need three to three and a half. And this one's only two and a half. Two point nine. Oh, so close. So close. How many catamarans they haul out. This place is booked. We tried to get a haul out here and they said uh, what, we had to wait six months or something? Almost. Basically uh, the off season everybody's boats are on the hard yeah. already. And I guess the way that it works is everybody pre-orders all, all their stuff and then they ship it in so their stores don't really carry that much. Uh, and the water pump that we have is like kind of a normal water pump but it's a little more pressure than what the most boats would have because it's for the water maker, so that's why it's it's not just at any boat shop. Dang. There you go. And Bob's your uncle. Go for it, no pressure. No pressure. Only everybody's watching. This is the fun one. Okay. You can do it. Everybody's watching. Okay, I'm being serious about this. <laughs> so far, not so good. <laughs> about getting water from where we got it from today. It's really not potable water. It's not water for drinking. It's really just for cleaning and showering and such. But because we have a handy dandy extra water filter installed in our kitchen, which we did in Florida before we ever took off, it actually has a UV light and everything on it. So it goes through like carbon filters plus the UV, which does make it totally safe to drink, which is super awesome. And it came in handy in Ecuador whenever <laughs> the water maker broke. Different pump, different problem. There's always something. It's never just everything works on a boat, right? And yeah, now it's coming in handy here. So I'm super glad that we have it, but even still, it's incredible how many people end up getting sick sometimes from the water in their tanks because once you've put contaminated water in your tanks, or even without doing that, even water maker water, when water just sits, it can 
grow bacteria. So, water filters on a boat are important if you're going to drink water from lots of different sources, which if you're sailing, you will. How's that for a tidbit? That's good. Cleo's got a surprise for you inside. Yeah, clearly. Okay, I'll go <laughs> see. What were you going on about? Did you get me the towel? Why did you remove that from the kitchen? Hmm? And now you're done. Everybody doesn't even get to see what you do. Cleo's favorite thing to do is to bring us towels. Yes, she's the retriever kitty. She's clearly already done her job. Just melting, melting. What do you think? Green flash or no? Pretty. Kind of looks like a green flash, kind of just like that. Come on, green flash. I don't know. I never see it. <laughs> I've seen it before. If you want to know more about our scuba setup or our water purification system, then click over to our website. We've got a lot more information there. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.